So my name's Stephen Goolsovey. I'm the head of data science at QB. Uh, we're the provider of a, a, a connected home platform and the creators of a, a smart thermostat and energy display uh, called the Tone. Uh, so some of the, the use cases we have for Databricks is we have um, a connected home platform that's collecting a lot of data from residential households. What we're able to do is we use the Databricks platform to enable us to create data-driven services on, on top of that data. So a big challenge we faced from the data engineering perspective um, was just the, the amount of time that it took to manage the, our own infrastructure. We, we could see from just working with our uh, on-site Hadoop cluster that as soon as a new package came along, we'd have to be having a data engineer spending a, a day or two making sure that that, that was installed correctly, all of the dependencies were managed well. Moving to Databricks has allowed us to, to take away some of that um, concentration on infrastructure management, and that means our data engineers can focus on where they're really uh, adding even more specific value to the business. From a data science perspective, at that time before using Databricks, we were, we were using a number of different tools. We came, our data scientists came from backgrounds in, in MATLAB, R, uh, Python. So, so what we, we used Databricks for at that stage was where uh, the, the shared notebooks, the collaboration allowed us to, to develop um, code in a, in a very systematic way. What we were also able to do is very quickly switch between languages. So for data science, some things work really well in Python. You want to be able to use some of the latest um, developments in TensorFlow and Keras. Sometimes you want to be switching more towards Scala for, for production code. Uh, so one example of how Databricks has provided us with a lot of value is we have a, a use case where we're, we're trying to uh, detect anomalies in heating systems of homes. Uh, Databricks Delta, in combination with Spark Streaming, allows us to, to offer um, alerts to users with a, a very limited uh, latency, so they're able to react to problems within the home before it affects their comfort levels. The, the real business impact of Databricks, uh, a couple of things. What, one, it allows us to, to manage our whole data science stack with um, a very a slick team. So we, can, we don't have to spend our time really concentrating on the infrastructure. We can put our emphasis into developing the, the machine learning algorithms. That's where we can really truly extract information from the data we're collecting. On real co cost saving uh, approaches, just being able to collect data and analyze it in a, in a systematic way really helps. For ex one example is Databricks allows us to access spot instances very easily. That allows us to, to uh, change the timing of when we're, we're using clusters. Auto-scaling of clusters on top of that uh, allows us to, to process large volumes of data at a, in a way that can be uh, very uh, economic for us as a company. So the Databricks Unified Analytics Platform has allowed us as a, a team of uh, composing of data engineers, data scientists, but also the, the, the rest of the business to, to uh, allow us to, to create uh, valuable services from the data we're collecting. So in, in summary, uh, data, the Databricks Analytics Platform has allowed us to transition from a, from a hardware-based business model towards uh, enabling both us and our partners to to become more service orientated and ready for the future.